Okay, let's now quickly go uh, through the actual course creation on Udemy because what people usually are doing and it is actually a pretty wrong thing to do is that they actually create a course on Udemy platform itself only after they are done with the lectures themselves, which is very wrong thing to do. Don't do that please because doing this right now might save you a lot of problems and issues in the future so in order to start creating a course i will just create a dummy uh, course placeholder so you would know where you can actually create the course all you need to do is just go to udemy dashboard uh, it's gonna be in a white color don't worry it's all the colors just are inverted here and go to your courses and on the right hand side my face is actually covering it right there you're gonna see the button named new course you're gonna see this button in numerous other places like for example in marketplace insights when you're uh, looking for different topics you're gonna see actually uh, this button right here as well so you would know just it's simply uh, the button where you can create a course so just press a new course and uh, this is what you will see you know what i'm gonna turn off uh this uh, dark mode so it would be easier for you to see you're gonna see one of two options first is the course itself that we will be creating and second is the practice test the practice test is made for people who is making a basically a practice test for different examinations and yeah this is the things that i don't do usually so you're gonna all you need to do is just press course right here and then on the right corner right here let me just 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 point it so it would be easier to see right here uh oh you need to press continue and then you're gonna write the course name right here don't worry this is just a working title a placeholder don't worry it will not be your final name you can write whatever you want i'm gonna call the test course test course uh right here and yeah it's, you have only 60 characters by the way so you can actually train right here if you want to test uh different characters then press continue again on the bottom right corner then you're going to choose a category uh, of your course basically it will be the general category of the course again this can be changed as well do not worry do not think about that too much for example in our case let's say that we are creating the same course that we have right here it's about teaching and academics or if you don't know yet you can just select i don't know yet it's it's as simple as that and then press continue and then uh, Udemy is asking you how much time you have per week to create for course. And uh, that's actually not very essential thing to fill out. You can just select any time that you want. Uh, or you have only like zero to two hours, two to four hours, five hour plus. Or uh, you haven't decided, you can say I haven't decided just yet. In, in our case, I haven't decided. And all you need to do is just press create the course right here and your course will be basically created. For now, I'm actually going to delete this course. I don't need this right here and we're gonna work from something else we're gonna work from this actual course's placeholder and what you need to understand very well is that all that you are creating for the courses will be filled out in this uh, 10 different tabs on this left side these 10 tabs will be all that you're filling out however not all of them are made to be filled out some of them are made to learn from for you this is literally made for you as an instructor not for students on the first tab intended learners it's for the students we're not going to be feeling this one right now we're going to skip it course structure this is actually giving you all the information that you need to know about course creation this is literally Udemy telling you what you need to do and you even have a teacher center about your uh, all the tips and guides etc etc it gives you all the information that you need to create an outline introduce yourself create a momentum sections uh, have a clear uh, learning objectives lectures cover one concept two to seven minutes which is great we are actually um, for me it's usually around eight minutes mix and match your lecture types then it gives you requirements that's what you need to follow very carefully press, press this complete list and go and follow very carefully very very carefully because people are ignoring this i i cannot say how many times i've seen that people are ignoring this including the time of the content the number of lectures the quality the audio and everything like that you need to follow everything and read everything if you're creating the course first time don't worry we're going to be covering majority of those things in this course but still you need to cover and read everything because this is uh, this might change and I might not reflect it that quick, but this 
text will actually do then you can go and see the different resources right here then as you can see it's already ticked out right here we have a check mark you need to continue that setup and test your video it actually will give you all the information about the setup and testing your video you can even create a test video right here and upload it to udemy itself and they will test the video and tell you whether your video is actually good or not you can record anything that you want just to see the quality it's the same right here all the quality all the things that you need again another check mark then film and edit the same thing it gives you all the information you can even join the community ask the questions everything right here every single thing is explained curriculum this is the place where you're gonna actually upload your lectures then captions which is optional this is when you create a course when you create a lecture uh you usually will create an auto caption or you can just create the caption yourself then the landing page this is basically probably one of the most important parts of the course where you're going to fill out all the information of, of for the landing page then for the pricing don't worry we're going to discuss this very carefully then promotions this is where coupons are created and where your referral link is actually made don't worry again we're going to explain what this means in the future lectures don't need to bother about this too much right now and the course message is basically the welcome message and congratulations message that's what you need to do it's not very important it's not as important as you might think but still it is a good thing to have again this three tabs right here read those three things and read all those informations course again course structure set up and test video and film and edit tabs read this as soon as you will create a new course before you're gonna start working anything course related when you have an idea of the course get it right here and start working from here this should be your base of operations this is where you're gonna create everything so yeah do this right now do not postpone it till later do not postpone it till you are done with the recording do not postpone it till you are done with the editing do not do this when you have a course idea create it right here and yeah you can you can delete this anytime you want until someone will enroll so just make sure they know that if someone will enroll to this course or whatever you want to create this one someone will get this you will not be able to delete this anytime forever it's it's just there so know that until this happens until anyone enrolls as a student, you can do, we can create as many courses, placeholders as you want. So yeah, this is all that I wanted to tell about. Just make sure to create a new course as soon as possible. And in the next lecture, we're actually going to start doing some planning. I'm going to see you there.